optimizing your game asset is important for your game engine or if you want to render a big scene inside Blender. In this video, I will explain how to transform your Fluent object into a low poly and how to unwrap it using Zen UV. The first step is to prepare the eye poly. Show the wireframe on all the parts and look for edges that are not straight. To have a clean bake, we need to get rid of those. Since this is a fluent object, we can go to edit mode and add an edge loop using Ctrl R. Left click and right click. Press Shift F to go back to object mode. Repeat the process for every diagonal edges. It's time to convert the fluent object into an object. Select all the parts and use the autocomplete button while holding Alt. Once again, select all the parts and join them into one using Ctrl J. And we can rename the final object to I. To prevent artifacts, we need a triangulate modifier. Set it to 5 and keep normal. The high poly is done. Hide it and unhide the base fluent object. Since we will be baking all the inside parts, we take only the shell of the object. Hide the boolean that will be baked. For this one, we will keep it since it goes outside the mesh. Let's clean this before we complete the object. Go to edit mode and get rid of this support edge using Ctrl X. For the line on the bevel, just go to the modifier and set the segment to 1. Those corners can be optimized. Go to Other Adjustments and set the model resolution to 8. If you have any cylinders cuts on your low poly, I recommend to also set the resolution to 8. Auto Complete while holding Alt. Remove the bevel since it will be baked and set the weighted normals to keep sharp. Remove any unnecessary edges with Ctrl X. Final step, add a triangulate, set it to 5 and keep normals. By default, Fluent will unwrap the object, but it sometimes adds seams we don't need. To identify them, watch the faces that should follow. Select the edges and press Ctrl E, then clear seams. Select the entire object, press U and unwrap. It's better. Activate the checker texture to better see how it looks. The first problem is the distorted faces. Select them, mark seam and unwrap the object. To fix any distorted island, select all, press alt U and use the qualify and relax tool from Zen UV. As you can see, the UV is only covering 49% of the resolution. To optimize the texture and the video memory of your game or render, try to pack your UV. Wait. Now it's worse. The problem here is the long island. We need to split it by marking some edges as seam. Ok, 59% is better. Let's see if we can optimize it a bit more. Sixty-two point five. Great. I will let you try adding more seams and pack to see if you can optimize more. If you want to see how to make photorealistic metal oxidation, I'll let you watch this video.